Spring is here and it looks like we need to do some toy hauler walkthroughs. Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. They call me the honey badger because I give it to you straight and transparent about the RV business. This is the Eclipse RV Stellar 28 LBG. It's identical to the Iconic and the Attitude. So the only thing really different between Attitude, Iconic and Stellar is the graphics. Now, if this is the first time that you've seen one of my walkthroughs, I do about eight to 15 minute walkthrough on every RV, go through the whole thing without any sound effects, special effects, or weird editing. All right, let's get started. So you got your power tongue jack. They put the lithium battery package on this. I'm still on the fence about that. <laughs> they seem to like it. I'm, I'm not there yet, but then again, you know, there's a lot of people out there that do like the lithium battery technology. You get two, sorry, van passing by, two seven and a half gallon propane tanks. Now the weight, if we look here, it tells you the overall length. I know it's faded, but it's 36 feet, seven inches. Gross vehicle is 13,000 pounds with two 6,000 pound axles. And we'll get to the dry weight when we go around the corner because they actually put it by the door. Now, I didn't have the keys when I started this project, so I didn't open up the compartments, but it does have a 5,500 watt generator. It has an on-demand hot water heater, outside shower. Now, because you see the vents right there, you know it automatically has a propane electric refrigerator, 40 gallon fuel station, 150 gallons of fresh water, 70 gray, 50 black. Now, one thing that I have to say about Eclipse, as much as I'm not the biggest fan of Eclipse RV, Attitude, Iconic, Stellar, they are one of the only builders that builds their toy haulers around the four seat Can-Am X3, okay? So automatically, when they build a floor plan, they actually take a Can-Am X3, put it in there, and then they build the toy hall around it, including the slide outs. Now this has not been built around the Pro R yet. The only company that has built it around the brand new Pro R is Genesis Supreme so far, but that is gonna change. Now, as we go inside, you don't have to pardon me, man, I'm getting a cold or something. Maybe it's just I'm not sleeping, who knows? Okay. Inside, you got an eight cubic foot propane electric refrigerator. We know it's eight cubic foot because it has four shelves, which is pretty decent size. You got your sofa slide with cabinets above. Now, what I don't like is that because of the fact that they assume you're gonna get the big roll cage, that you're not gonna just get a stock one, they make the cabinets not as deep as Forest River or Genesis does. That's really one of my complaints. Now, it doesn't mean that's necessarily a bad thing. People can work around that. You could still fit some small pots and pans up there, bowls, you, you know, you can put paper plates in there. So there's workarounds on it, okay? But just, I, I don't like that. That's just my personal opinion, okay? You got your queen size bed, your booth dinette. Now, what I like about their booth dinette, this is where they do things really right, is they give you a wider area where you can actually squeeze into the booth. So it's a little bit longer. And again, one of the reasons why is the back end of the toy hauler on Eclipse products is a little wider than other manufacturers. So it gives them a little advantage as far as your leg room. So you can remove one of these or both of these, put a foldable table in there and you get a lot more leg room. They also fold together and make a bed, okay? Now, the other thing they do well, I didn't turn it on because I couldn't reach, but if I zoom in real quick up here, you could see they put lights all by the beds. I turned the one on the bottom. I guess that doesn't count. <laughs> Anyway, and then you have your USB charging station and 12 volt plug right there. So everybody has an area to charge a device if you're laying on the bed. Again, something really creative and great. 
The other really good thing they've been doing for absolute years, even before their owner passed away, is they do oversized cushions. Their chairs, their captain's chairs, are the most comfortable in the industry. Okay, I've sat in a lot of them. I've sat in Forest River. My favorite toy hauler is still all built by Genesis Supreme RV, but they don't make this comfortable of a chair, okay? But again, looking above here, there's no cabinet space. I mean, really, the only thing you're fitting in there is like cans of soup, okay? That's that's about it, or, or a box of cereal. I mean, you're not gonna fit a lot. And again, I'm gonna repeat myself, but it has to do with them believing you're gonna get the oversized roll cage on every Can Am X3. Now, they put the biggest TVs in the industry in their coaches. That's what they've been known for for the last 12 years. Automatically get a ceiling fan, automatically you get two air conditioners in this size. Their command center is one of the most basic in the industry, but easy to operate. So another very positive thing. And if you're wondering, we actually had somebody clean this out because it was dusty. It came from another store. So let's move that stuff out of the way. Timber. Uh, another thing that's really vital that they do is their placement of the sink. So they're play this is a standard type of look in a toy hauler. But the reason why it has more counter space is because where they put the sink. Now this is an advantage and a disadvantage. Now, when we open up the sink, you obviously lose this entire area of work, but you gain all this counter space. Again, take the good with the bad. But I love the one piece sink. I think it's a really good idea. They still do the same things everybody else does with their faucets, doesn't change. The rope lighting is cute. And I do like how deep their drawers are. Again, something really unique. And you can tell they glide in and out really nicely. There are some nice things about Eclipse. I mean, you can put a nice big pot down there. You could put a nice big pot down there. Here's the disadvantage. The disadvantage is where your plumbing is located. So the reason why I like Forest River and Genesis better with their kitchens and where they put the sink is even though you lose counter space, the accessibility to fix your plumbing is easier. So if something goes wrong with the sink, something goes wrong with the faucet, easier to work on if it's over here than if it's kitty corner. So again, pros and cons, right? So realistically, I leave it up to you how you feel and you can let me know in the comments section. Now, this is something everybody does. They do a great job. They don't thin out the cabinets here, just in the cargo area. So good space for like your, your pantry, I would call it. Um, goes all the way deep. They add this cabinet here. Something not everybody does in this floor plan. But unlike Genesis, Genesis has the cabinets a little lower and they have an area on top where you could put like your riding gear and maybe some taller pots and pans, okay? But that's a difference in philosophy. That's not good or bad. That's just a difference in how the philosophy of a manufacturer is, okay? Standard to them, very positive, is they put the bigger microwave standard in every one of their coaches, at least unless you ask for the smaller one. Three burner stove, smaller oven, okay? That's like your pizza oven, I guess you could call it. Another thing that Eclipse has done well for a lot of years is they put a lot of windows, they give a lot of natural light, you don't feel like you're in a coffin. Oh, look. <laughs> okay, toilet's in a really good position. This is a standard bathroom. Um, now, here's the interesting part. I got a comment on one of my videos two years ago. I did an attitude walkthrough or an iconic walkthrough at Beaumont RV. And I had a young lady tell me that she does not like the clear doors because if somebody else has to come in and use the bathroom, she absolutely has no privacy with that clear door. Now, husbands might disagree with me. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, that's my joke of the day, and that's as far as I'm going to take it. 
Okay, now instead of making this a linen closet, they made it a regular closet. You can still stack linens in there at the bottom. They added drawers and they give you a, um, a furnace duct that is to the bathroom. A lot of manufacturers don't do that. Okay, big counter space, small little sink. Uh, underneath though, good space. Again, I look, how do I put this without being offensive? It's hard, it's hard for me because I, I knew the owner pretty well. I loved Dallin. I loved going to Camp Razor. Um, there's a lot of things that I really liked about Eclipse products for a long time. My problem is they're not the best in service. They never have been, okay? And not to the customer, but to the dealership. You know, there's a joke that goes around, has been going around for years, that, you know, you add $2,000 to the cost of an Attitude, an Eclipse uh, product, an Attitude, Iconic, or Stellar, because that's about how much it's going to cost you in warranty work that Clips isn't going to pay you. So just something to keep in mind that it's gorgeous, it's well put together, it's well designed, it's designed around the four seat Can M X3, but it has its downsides too. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me, description box below. I have my uh, Instagram, my Facebook all connected in there. I think I also have my Twitter, which I haven't looked at in a while. And um, if, you, if you want to check out another really cool toy hauler that'll fit the four-seat Can-Am X3, look in the top right-hand corner of this video.